Okay, so robots are officially clocking in for work, and one of them just joined BMW. Figure AI has been cooking up something wild, a humanoid robot that walks like us, works like us, and might soon outpace us. They've packed it with Helix AI, and now it's learning tasks, helping in real factories, and even lending a hand to build more robots. Yep, it's getting real. So what exactly is this robot doing, and why is everyone talking about it? Let's dive in. First up, BMW. Figure AI's humanoid robot, Figure 02, has moved beyond the lab and is now working inside BMW's Spartanburg, South Carolina plant, handling actual production tasks. This all started back in January 2024, when Figure AI and BMW signed a commercial deal to bring humanoid robots into BMW's manufacturing process, a big step for robotics in auto production. By May 2024, Figure 02 was already in trial mode at Spartanburg, inserting sheet metal parts into chassis assembly fixtures. And it didn't just go through the motions, it proved it could handle real factory work. What's really interesting is how it operates. Figure 02 uses something called the Helix Vision Language Action Model. Basically, it can see its surroundings, understand spoken instructions, and figure out tasks on its own. That means it adapts without constant reprogramming, making it way more flexible than your average factory bot. Right now, at BMW's Spartanburg plant, the Figure AI robot is placing about 1,000 parts a day, real, essential work that keeps production moving. BMW focuses on repetitive, physically demanding jobs that can be tough on human workers. By handing those over to robots, BMW aims to boost safety, reduce strain, and keep production running smoothly. So far, so good, though there's no set timeline for a full rollout. The bigger vision is to scale this tech across millions of robots to make manufacturing more efficient and worker-friendly. For now, Figure AI is fine-tuning the system to make these robots even more reliable in real-world settings. And while BMW's plant is the first major test, the potential goes way beyond cars. They are already looking into home applications, with plans to start alpha testing domestic uses later this year. Oh, and if you think watching this robot navigate a factory is cool, just wait until you hear how it learned to move like a human. Before we carry on, hit the like button to prove you're not a robot. Walking seems simple until you try teaching it to a robot. Figure AI has cracked this challenge using reinforcement learning to give their humanoid robot a remarkably human-like movement. Here's how they're making it happen. The training begins in virtual worlds. Thousands of digital Figure 02 robots practice walking in high-fidelity physics simulations, facing every challenge imaginable. Uneven terrain, sudden pushes, slippery surfaces. Through constant trial and error, these virtual robots learn what works, condensing what would be years of real-world experience into just hours of simulation time. The real magic happens in the transfer to the physical robot. Using advanced domain randomization techniques combined with precise torque feedback, Figure AI achieves what's called zero-shot sim-to-real transfer. This means the walking skills learned in simulation work immediately on the actual Figure 02. No tedious real-world tuning required. The culmination of these techniques results in Figure Robot exhibiting human-like walking patterns. The results are impressive. Watch the robot move and you'll see coordinated heel strikes, natural arm swings, and smooth toe-offs, all the subtle details of human walking. The robot maintains its balance when nudged, adjusts to uneven floors, and recovers from stumbles with human-like reflexes. Perhaps most importantly, this natural movement helps humans feel comfortable around robots. Figure AI's latest videos show just how far they've come. You can see the Zero Two walking in a natural smoothness that rivals human movement. But walking is just the beginning. With these locomotion challenges solved, Figure AI is now turning to an even tougher problem, giving robots the delicate hand skills that come so naturally to us. If you thought teaching a robot to walk was impressive, wait until you see robots assembling other robots at BotQ. Okay, moving on, Figure AI also unveiled something quietly revolutionary. BotQ, their new humanoid robot factory launched in March 2025. At first glance, it's an impressive production facility capable of making 12,000 robots annually. But look closer, and you'll find something more interesting happening here. 
The robots coming off these assembly lines are potentially future factory workers. Each new figure robot joins the production process, helping build the next generation. It's a smart approach that solves one of robotics' biggest challenges, scaling production efficiently. By keeping everything in-house and powered by their Helix AI system, Figure AI has created a manufacturing process that gets faster and more cost-effective with each robot added to the workforce. Early numbers show production time shrinking by 60%, while costs drop nearly half. Tangible benefits that could make humanoid robots more accessible across industries. BotQ isn't some flashy robotics or exaggerated futuristic claims, it's a practical way of solving real manufacturing challenges. The factory layout adapts as needed, with autonomous systems handling material transport, while humans oversee operations through simple augmented reality interfaces. There's something quietly profound about watching robots build better versions of themselves. It suggests a future where manufacturing can scale in ways we've only imagined. And with BotQ now operational, that future might arrive sooner than expected. Figure AI's recent video offers a clear look at the system in action. As BotQ begins operations, it raises interesting questions about how quickly this model can grow and what it might mean for manufacturing beyond robotics. The answers will likely come through steady progress rather than sudden breakthroughs, which is perhaps the most promising part of all. Finally, you know those busy logistics hubs where packages fly down conveyor belts non-stop? That's where Figure's robots are now putting their skills to work, sorting, flipping, and handling packages with surprising finesse. It's one thing to move boxes in a controlled factory, but quite another to keep up with the unpredictable flow of actual production floors. The robots are managing this thanks to some clever upgrades. Their new stereo vision works like human depth perception. They can actually judge distances now instead of guessing. Watch one handle a floppy mailer bag right after a rigid box, and you'll see it automatically adjust its grip strength and approach. No more of those weird pauses or reprogramming, just smooth adaptation. The impressive part is how they're maintaining this performance across multiple robots. Normally you'd need to tweak each machine individually, but these figure out their own minor hardware differences automatically. It's like how you can jump into any car and adjust to its steering within minutes, except these robots do it themselves before their first task. The speed boost is noticeable too. By optimizing their movements beyond human demonstration speeds, while keeping things precise, they're processing packages faster than earlier models. And get this, they learned most of these skills from just eight hours of quality training footage. Part of this comes from an innovative sport mode that safely accelerates movements beyond human demonstration speeds without losing precision. The demonstration videos show something refreshingly practical. No flashy acrobatics, just reliable hands getting the work done. As this technology spreads, we might start seeing its influence everywhere from e-commerce warehouses to airport baggage systems. And that's where things stand. Robots building robots, learning to walk like us, and even taking on logistics. It's not sci-fi anymore. It's happening right now. What do you think? Exciting or a bit overboard? Drop your thoughts in the comments. And hey, if you're into seeing where this all goes next, hit that subscribe button. We've got plenty more to dive into.